Hello to all of our ministry partners and all of our followers. It's Pastor Paul Anderson from the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. I invite you to flow with me into God's word as we read the gospel according to St. Matthew, the 16th chapter, beginning at verse 13 and concluding at verse 20. Now, when Jesus came to the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do men say that the son of man is? And they said, some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah and still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter. And on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatsoever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he sternly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be unto God. Today, I want you to ask, I want to ask you to look with me at verse 16. Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. And Jesus said unto him, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father in heaven. I want to ask you the question today. Has God revealed anything to you lately? A text on today begins to speak very powerfully because it is Jesus, first of all, asking a question of his disciples. What do people say about me? What are people saying about the ministry? What are they saying about the work that I'm doing? They give a response. And then secondly, he asks them, what do you say? It seems to be a pause. But then right after the pause, Simon Peter, the one who is always having something today to say, he speaks up. First of all, he says, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. It was right then and there that we can see the power of the Holy Spirit at work in him. Because Jesus says, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father in heaven. We live in a world today that we must make sure that the father reveals things to us and we speak the words that he gives to us. Now, it is important for us all to understand that we have limitations because we are human beings. And for that reason, we're not always in the spirit. We're not always speaking the word of God. But Jesus uses this as an isolated moment to let us know that the spirit is speaking through Simon Peter. Now, Simon Peter was one of those who always had a word to say. Remember, Simon Peter was the one who pulled out his sword when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane. Simon Peter was somewhat of a quick tempered person. And plus, Simon Peter was always quick. Have you met someone who is always quick on their feet? Simon had to, I, in my imagination, he was one of those who was always quick on his feet. And I believe he wanted to be the first one to say a word, but he did not know that God would speak through him. Is not that amazing? Sometimes you and I have to remind ourselves that God will speak through us in the moments that we had not even anticipated. When you and I open our mouths, let our words be the word of God. Let our words be the affirmation of who Jesus is. The text says, Simon Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And he knows that he's the Messiah. And Jesus allows Simon to say it. It's important for all of us to say that we know that Jesus is the Messiah. And if he is the Messiah, let's tell everyone about the one who come to save the world from all of our sins. For John 316 says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And John 17 says for God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So today, won't you speak the word and tell everyone by the spirit of almighty God that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. May God bless you and heaven smile upon you. And and I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. 
Thank you so very much for your prayerful support and all the things that we have done in ministry to help so many others. We thank you so very much for your generous support in times past, and we thank you for your present support and what you will do in the future. May God richly bless you exceedingly and abundantly above all that you're able to ask, say, or think according to his power at work in you. God bless you. Okay.